You guys don't know how long it's been since I did this. You guys remember? Remember, check this, check this little throwback moment. <laughs> I haven't gotten a candle in so long. Like, I dreaded going downtown and getting one of these. Woo! Clearly, I forget how to light them, too. Be back. What's up, you two? Kyron back up in here with another video, and today we are back with a pickups video, to say the least. Summer pickups. I'm gonna be showing you guys some items that I've been acquiring over the last little bit. I've been been dibbling and dabbling in the shops a little bit now that things are open. Curfew is lifted. The people are outside and I'm happy. I'm going to different stores. I'm going to Essence like usual. You guys see the vlogs. I'm also going to other stores such as like Holtz and also some bargain places to get designer clothing, which I'll be touching on right now in a little bit before the plug in. <laughs> Make sure to like this video if you haven't already. It helps out a ton with the channel, getting it in front of the eyes of the other viewers out there that might be interested in some Rick Ovens. Also, comment what your favorite piece is in this video after you have watched it in its entirety, of course. And lastly, follow the boy on Instagram, G-O-T-S-W-E-I-G-E, -E, is where you can keep up to date with me more frequently. I post fit pics, this and that, so that's what you can check out on there. Lastly, lastly, subscribe if you're new, that's just in case. But this video is actually brought to you guys by Allure Market. They were kind enough to send forward two pieces. That's four, two <laughs> pieces to showcase to you guys. These are insane, insane pieces. And I just wanted to touch on this because Talib is actually one of my friends and he is one of the main partners over at Allure market allure market is a store that provides discounted designer goods at a very reasonable price like extremely reasonable if you're local um they have it in canadian dollars but online i believe it'll be in american dollars that'll be for you guys to go check it out in the description to blow if you guys are interested in acquiring some steals and deals at a crazy price both of what these items would cost is way 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 below retail price okay i think one of the pieces was close to like 70 percent off and the other one was definitely 70 percent off or like even 60. so you're getting some steals and it's not just chucked away garments it's garments that people are actually looking for and one of them is actually slightly a grail of mine it's been something i've been looking at for the past couple of years now i believe i wanted this item back in like 2014 2015 and you guys will see it that will be the first one we get into i just want to start off the video with a bang might as well uh-oh you guys see what that box says right only bad things could come out of this box. Scary things, scary hours, you know? So might as well get right into it. Uh-oh. Your boy joined the wave, my man. Holy, we got it. The Wyatts, I believe people call these the chestnuts. This is the brown suede iteration of the buckle harness boots by Saint Laurent Paris. Crazy, crazy pair of boots. I love this pair. I've been hunting for this for a while. Not necessarily hunting because they are available and they drop it every single season. I was being a little bit snobby and I wanted the Eddie Slaman era of the Wyatt, but they just go for an absorbent amount of money. The fellow people over at Allure Market were able to assist me with acquiring these. I just love these boots, man. Like these are a classic boot. If you're trying to get into the non-sneaker realm, most people gravitate towards this iteration, which is the suede or the black leather, which is a fan favorite. I know the likes of Sanj and a whole lot of other people are big fans of that boot. If you guys didn't know, I actually have this, which is the black Balenciaga harness boot with the square toe. And this is a boot that I opted for instead of the Saint Laurent Paris boot back in 2017 is when I got this. This was a birthday gift from my mom, so shout out to her. But I actually opted for this 
instead of the pointed toe Saint Laurent Paris because everyone kind of had this, but then I kind of, I didn't regret it. I just felt like I was missing out. So I had some FOMO and now full circle, we're here, we're back, baby. We're not missing out on anything because we have it in the collection now, but I'm happy I went with this because it kind of tested my, my fashion going for a square toe when everyone else was doing pointy toe and it really does fit into my style even in modern day it's very western so i don't regret that for a moment so this is a great great boot for anyone to go and get and hopefully you guys could go and find other options yourself on allure market i'm gonna get into the next piece that they sent me because i could talk all day about these but these are so so sick the next piece we have two ends of Chiron style, right? We have the we have the Western, you know, presentable boots, flowy pants, collared shirt sometimes, maybe a distressed tee. But then the other side is the Ricky, all black sometimes, and we acquire some Rick Owens. So here we have some Rick Owens sweatpants. These are mainline actually, and they are super heavy. You could kind of feel the substantial weight of them. And you guys know that is something that I, I go Google Gaga over all the time. I just love when things feel like they're worth something and that's where you're putting your money towards. Zippers, etc., or different hardware that could be found on a garment of this nature. And it just feels like it's worth the price that you are paying for items like this. And especially if you're getting it at a discounted price, you're getting stuff that is of insane value for a small value dollar amount, that makes sense. So I believe these retail for like $1,400. Same thing with the boots and I got them for, they go for way less. So you could find out all of the deals and steals that Allure Market has. They do drops pretty often and you could go and see what they have to offer over there. I just wanted to show you guys what I got here and these, have some zippers on the side to kind of like open out at the bottom so you can have it cuffed like it is regularly or you can open it out and have it like hover over shoes a little bit if you want it to like puddle a bit nicer you know so there's some options there for you love these i ended up getting the size up which was the 50 and which equates to 34 i believe and i think that one below that would have been the 32 but there's not much of a big difference in rick i notice if you tie the drawstring you're perfectly fine so don't worry about sizing and for the boots i went true to size actually if you guys are in the market for wire boots just go true to size you should be fine and yeah that's about it crazy crazy two pickups to start off this video like insane i really appreciate allure market and also talib and everyone over at the team at allure market specifically talib because he is a good friend of mine and also he was in the final project of my team over at la salle um for la salle college i don't know if you guys ever watched that video when i graduated from there he was in the final project team that i had and it's just cool to see a member of that team that like i really like went through school and everything together and now we're actually doing our own thing in fashion and to see what has become of him is just really cool and touching so i want to show support the boy you know the broski so go support his new endeavor i'll have everything linked in the description you can check it out over there so next up we have some stuff that I acquired from Essence actually. So these were two things that I just been adding in multiple appointments and I've been kind of skeptical on acquiring them just because kind of iffy on getting stuff through the Essence sale sometimes just because there's so many things and it's hard to boil it down to certain items that you know that you want. But with these, I ordered them to probably about five different appointments to try them on and see if I actually like them. And the fact alone that I ordered them to five different appointments should probably tell my psyche that I should buy them instead of just like, oh yeah, these are nice and then like again and again and again eventually i was just like you know what it's time and i got them i think these were on discount to like 30 percent off something like that which is very rare for redone if you guys don't know redone is a sustainable reworked denim brand they use vintage denim and they rework it into modern silhouettes or 
with inspiration from vintage cuts of course so yeah here we go it's the back patch you could see like the old so these are actually a woman's pair of pants and you could see the the old mark of the tag normally they use vintage levi's to rework sometimes it's that sometimes it's other vintage denim and then they just put it into their actual silhouette so these are the wide cut i believe they're just a wide cut straight leg pair of light blue wash denim and if you guys don't know me you guys if you guys know me <laughs> you guys will know that i love this specific wash of denim i always look out for this in vintage levi's and i find it so hard to find i think i might have found one pair after getting this so it kind of like gave me the runaround i ended up getting both <laughs> but um you see my denim addiction is kind of crazy but i do go crazy for this wash of denim i just love it so much especially this fit i don't have something as relaxed as this so i was glad to add it to the denim collection of course and i always talk about redone but i never bought into it as for sizing this was a women's 30. i'm actually like a men's 32 so this was a little confusing with the sizing i don't really know what's going on with this so i would recommend trying them on in person if you can if not buy them and return them if they don't fit you if you have the option to do so so redone denim there you go two the next one, this is the next thing that I got from the Essence sale. This was this Reese Cooper flannel. I don't have too many flannels and I have slight moments where I do like to wear a flannel. It's a great layering piece, especially in the summer. Summer nights, you wanna wear a shorts t-shirt, but it gets cold at night. You can chuck on a little flannel to layer and you're good to go. The flannels that I do have though are pretty colorful and I had a needles one that I sold. So I was kind of like lacking one flannel. So I replaced it with this i loved the cut for it and i also liked the colors because of how simplistic it was it wasn't too like poppy but yeah the cut is just great because of how short it falls i'm a big sucker for boxy fitting garments and i hadn't had a chance to add anything from reese cooper's collections ever yet and i just feel like he's a great designer a very young designer and it's great to like support guys in this age group doing things of that nature i believe he has like a bunch of fashion awards already for his age that's insane you know so really cool to see stuff like that from a guy as humble and nice as him i've met him once at Oshiaga um during like an after party weekend it was like david and i were just partying and he was there really nice guy can't say enough good things about him and just the design of this was amazing so i couldn't pass it up especially for like damn near half off of what it, the retail price was so i picked it up with the swiftness for sure <laughs> and the last thing i got from essence more what else is new <laughs> So we got Kyron buying shorts. Huh? It's very rare, very rare that I buy into a short, but this was actually something that I was eyeing back in my time in LA with Jacob and Fernando and all them back when I was interning at Silver League. We had went to the Rick Owens store and Jacob was actually looking for these boxing shorts that were in the women's collection. They were available only in certain areas and they had them at the Rick store, but in like a crazy size and not the right colorway. But that was the first time I had seen this boxing short and it just fits so nice. And I felt like it would really suit my personal style. I don't love shorts, but there's certain moments where you can't really avoid it. You need to wear shorts because of how hot it gets or humidity etc it's just like a necessity and you could like layer around the shorts at least you'll have like some ventilation down there so anyway all of that to say the rick boxer short was probably the nicest short i ever seen so i figured i might as well get that and then just be set for shorts forever so my rotation is the jacob shorts these rick owens boxer shorts now and then also like some sporty ones like lululemon etc that i put you guys onto last summer so that's like my short rotation you guys will slowly see me wearing some shorts here and there i used to hate them because i'm not the biggest fan of my legs but these actually complement them in some type of weird way. It's like magic. So here you go. The Rick Owens boxer short. They have that slit on the side that is quite flattering. It kind of elongates your legs because the start of the short feels like it's way higher than usual, but it doesn't give you booty short vibes because you have all of this length 
here of course i sized up actually just because i liked the cut of it sized up as opposed to true to size so yeah that's why i ended up going for it this is the black bella boxer short by rick owens you can see the size the essence tag there this is from the season legathon spring summer 2021 and yeah just like a good twill short can't really go wrong i'm super excited to wear these just because like you guys know i don't have too many shorts that i love but these right here fire nothing short of fire got the little rick tag there i mean rick name on the hanger i love getting these little rick hangers too pretty cool that's about it for this video i really appreciate you guys sticking by the channel once again as always this was like a little bit of a designer pickups video for summer showing you guys some things that have been gravitating towards shopping my myself you know these are things that i purchased with my own money besides the two gifted items from allure market shout out to them make sure to go check them out in the description below but let me know what you guys have been buying in the summer. Let it be known in the comments below. I would love to hear from you guys, see what the, the space is looking like, what the summer gems are cooking. And yeah, that's about it. Make sure to like this video if you haven't already and subscribe if you are new. My name is Kyron. Follow me on my Instagram. G-O-T-S-W-E-I-G-E -E is where you can keep up to date with me more frequently. I post fit pics, this and that, so that's what you can check out on there. I'm gonna catch you guys on the next one. Peace two Rick pieces in one video? What are you doing? Chill.